This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, don't panic. Everything's going to be okay. But I do want to report an extremely large uptick in near-Earth asteroids that were found in 2014. As you know, I've been doing this for over a year, and I've been checking NASA's near-Earth object page pretty much daily. You get to do awesome crap like that when you do not have a love life. No complaints. And I'm alarmed at the amount of near-Earth asteroids that have been put on this page leading up to the debris stream Comet 209P Linear has left since the 1800s that we will be passing through the 24th and the 25th. And then the actual passage of 209P Linear's on the 29th of May. So it's going to be an exciting time. But no matter what, it's just very interesting that... Yesterday, when I was compiling this data, I noted that the 46 near-Earth asteroids from the 5th of May to the 29th of May, 22 of the 46 had been found this year. It's pretty much almost half. Technically, 0 0.47, 82, 60, 87%. And that 33 of the 46 yesterday had been found since 2010 or greater. I don't know, man. Did we not have cameras invented in 2009? Um... I know technology keeps advancing, but I would say it would be natural to get data anxiety from this, and this is not fear-mongering. NASA has asked us to help them on their Grand Asteroid Challenge, and basically in any way we can. Congress and the President have had a great idea, like, hey, let's just outsource and crowdsource the protection of Earth from outer space objects. So I'm doing what I can. So you got the pros being like, hey, we need help. And then you got the amateurs who troll conspiracy sites keeping them safe from astronomy conspiracies will say like, oh yeah, this is normal. This happens all the time, which is total bullshit. And I cannot wait to hear their math and their facts on this. Because as you can see, I've crunched my numbers. I'm putting it all together and it looks very weird. Now, let's go over the actual orbits of some of these asteroids and see if we can see something that the data doesn't give us, but that the visuals will. All right, let's go. Okay, now to start off, we're going to need to know where Ceres and Vesta are. As you can see, they're here and here in the grand scheme of things. I'm only going to cover the 2014 asteroids in this video. Let's see if we can find a pattern. All right, we've got Ho 132. You know, that Ho is as easy as 132, baby. Goes out to the Ceres Vesta region and shares its orbit with Earth. Hashhead Xanadu. 164 shares its orbit with Earth and then just beyond Mars. Handheld Tangerine 46 shares an orbit with Earth and Mars. Hollerback 177 shares its orbit with Earth and in between Mars and Earth. Handsome King number four shares its orbit with Venus and just beyond Mars but does cross Earth's orbit. Hips Everlasting. 177 shares its orbit with Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. How to 178 on an overcover cop. Howdy Toonie 178 shares its orbit with Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. God Code 45 comes in between Mars and Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. Jizzy New number two shares its orbit with Mercury and in between Mars and and Earth. 2014 Just Do It shares its orbit with Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. Heartless Asphalt shares its orbit with Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. Japanese Harem shares its orbit with Earth and the Ceres Vesta region. High School 124. Man, they're not good at math. Earth and just beyond Mars. Flippin' Punks 47 shares its orbit with Earth and almost touches Mars orbit. High frequency 184 shares its orbit with Earth and just beyond Mars. God decides 50 shares its orbit with shares its orbit with Venus and outside of Mars. How to 184 shares its orbit with Mercury and then just outside the Mars region. Fun Angels 44 shares its orbit with Earth and Mars. Home Run 124 shares its orbit with Earth and just beyond Mars. 
Highway 177 almost shares the orbit of Comet 209P Linear. Fun Nation 33. Fight Now 33. It shares its orbit with Earth and the Sarah's Vesta region. Same with Homemade 2. It shares its orbit with Earth and the Sarah's Vesta region. That girl's got a good head. 35. It shares its orbit with Earth and the Sarah's Vesta region. My life is jazzy and easy. It shares its orbit with 15 with Earth in the Sarah's Vesta region. God decides 45 shares its orbit with Earth in the Sarah's Vesta region. In the grand scheme of things. And I've often wondered, like, you said Sarah has, has water volcanoes shooting off of it, so, you know, maybe something's going on there, you know? So it'll definitely be interesting leading up to this magical mystery meteor storm. Let's hope we don't get an asteroid storm, which turns into a meteorite storm as well. But May may be an interesting month, for sure. Okay, this one was very boring as far as Thor news standards go. We had to crunch a lot of data in into a very little, short amount of time. And remember, these are only the asteroids that they have found in 2014, in the last four months. A lot of these have been found in the last few days, the last few weeks. This is definitely an uptick. This is definitely a larger push of new asteroids than we've ever seen before than i've ever seen before and i can't wait to the geeks and the amateur nerds and all the guys come out like now fear mongrel get, 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 get to your data it's, it's dusty and musty and fear mongery not fear mongering anybody baby like 50 percent of me believes everything we know about space is a total lie so i'm always on the fence about everything but we're just taking the data we're looking at it excellent now that i put the data out there i will do a second part on this video and we will get a little deeper into it. And as you know, I believe there's definitely something going on in between the Jupiter-Earth region, aka the Ceres Vesta Palace area. All right, God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. And um, happy baby, Harmonic Karma, Harp Serenade 124, God Code, Heartless Asphalt, Handheld Tangerine, Hips Everlasting, Hips Everlasting for Life. Never get to touch them. That's my style. What?